Hello, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind, what are their current feelings towards you. And today is the 6th of September, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is... 11.20 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The person on your mind right now, what are their current feelings towards Earth signs? Now think about the person you'd like to know. Bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini. I'm seeing here can be any sign, okay? I would say that this person is still interested or passionate about you or desires something. Um judgment in my first so there is a desire there's something that they want with you from you but with the judgment in my first they could be feeling like oh maybe it's a bad judgment call for me to take actions towards what i want with virgo taurus and capricorn but since the king of wands is in an upright position makes me feel like they want it but they don't think again the judgment reverse that it's a good call okay ten of cups here is a mob verse right now they are hmm. right now their feelings towards you it feels a little bit unsettling um because the ten of cups here is a mob verse Either that there is this harmony between the two of you or that they're not sure how the future is going to pan out between the two of you. And then we've got the lovers and the seven of swords. Although this person really wants to connect with you or really wants to be with you, if this is a, a romantic connection, there's also this selfishness that I'm picking up on someone of sorts. Either this person feels like I need to look out for myself, I need to be selfish, or that they could be feeling like you are selfish and that, and that you're looking out for yourself. Again, it could go vice versa, okay? The lover is here. As you can see, these two people are not wearing any clothes, so they do want to be close to you for sure. If it's a romantic connection, they want to be intimate with you. If it's not a romantic connection, they want to be close to you, okay? I sense them wanting to be a part of your life, but not entirely. I hope that makes sense. I'm saying not entirely because Ten of Cups is the entirety. And then we've got the Five of Cups here in reverse, but since it's in reverse, so it's not entirely. So, or wanting to be alone with you, right? They feel like they want to be alone with you, don't want to have other people around both of you hmm. it could be feeling like okay maybe i should find some time to be alone with earth signs without other distractions other people family friends like an environment that i feel where it's just the two of you hope that makes sense five of cups here is in reverse do sense I'm feeling like half positive about this connection while the other half is like I'm not too sure about the future. Okay, so I've got the Nine of Cups, another card that can indicate self-indulgence. They could be feeling like this could be something that they've been enter entertaining with, with their thoughts of wanting you for themselves. 
Mm, this could also be them wishing to be with you, being physical with you, being intimate with you. If this is a romantic connection, if it's a friendship, they just want to be alone with you. It's like, I want to have the cake and eat it too. It's There is this energy where, you know, it could be, a, it may have a little bit of uh, jealousy um, that I'm picking up on as well because it just reminded me of when, for example, uh, I I had a friend and she always gets jealous every time if, you know, we go out and, I'm, and we meet new people and I chat with the new people and she would always get really, really jealous because she just wanted me to pay f full attention to her, right? And after a while, it got overwhelming it got too much, um, even felt almost like an obsession. But anyway, she's no longer my friend. I basically cut her off, but I actually feel bad about doing that. Um, anyway, this kind of makes me feel like that, okay? This could be a friend, whoever you could be thinking about, a family member, anybody. You could be romantically, romantically involved with. But the United Cups is like, I want this person to myself. Um, see, because Ten of Cups here is a one verse. That means, and the lovers, there are only two people here, and there's only one person right here. And the Nine of Cups is on the same row as the King of Wands. So the King of Wands sometimes can be a little bit too driven. Um, when they want something, they will go for it by all means because the passion and the desire how do I put this the passion and desire is so strong that it's almost like I, I want this person so badly I'll do anything and that kind of an energy that I'm picking up picking up on but 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 right next to the King of Wands is the judgment in my first. So they they want this. They want you to be for themselves. Or want you to be alone with them without these other people involved. But the judgment of first indicates them feeling like, but that would be a bad idea. That would be a bad judgment call. And if I was to do it, I will have to be very sneaky about it, right? Seven of Swords. Maybe it's just them running away with their thoughts, with their feelings. I'm saying thoughts because these swords, you know, they indicate information, thoughts, communication. So I do see them just running away with their thoughts of, if only I could have earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn to myself without other influences, other people. Hmm. The King of Wands can be a jealous king. Although the King of Wands is upright position, but the surrounding cards aren't too positive, so it makes me feel like he may be jealous. He may want you for themselves. He or she, not gender specific, okay? It's like, I want all of our signs. I don't want to share it with anybody. Ten of Cups and Wolfers. Feels jealous and feels selfish at the same time. But doesn't mean that they will take actions towards that. They definitely have thoughts of taking actions towards that. And then the Nine of Cups is like, I'm just wishing it could be this way, right? I'm wishing it could be this way, that I can have earth signs for myself, but a wish is a wish. There's many people wish every single day for this and that. doesn't mean that they either take actions towards it or it doesn't mean that it's going to happen. And we've got the Eight of Wands. They're definitely passionate about you, right? Because the Wands are all in the upright position and the Lovers are also in the upright position, so... They may have romantic feelings for you if this is someone you're connected to romantically. If not, it could be just like a friend who really just wants to be with you all the time. And they're best friends who will get jealous when 
you know, like what I mentioned to you, um, what I told you, my story. And I've also seen it with my own eyes. If you see like friends who are super close to each other, like best friends, male or female, especially female, <laughs> they get jealous when there's a new person coming in to the, you know, um, to the group. So anyway, eight of wands, not a cup, seven of swords. I do sense them just again. Um, they are really passionate about you. They want you. And eight of wands is a fast communication, also very passionate energy. The seven of swords can indicate them being sneaky about it. That means they may feel this way for you, want some things with you, but either they're not taking actions towards it or that they can't, okay? Because the nine of cups like, I wish. You wish, most people wish for something that they feel like maybe they can't have it too, all right? Um, and then we've got the four of pentacles right here. So they do hold you very tightly or very closely to their heart, to the chest. Or that they feel like they shouldn't reveal it. They shouldn't show it. They shouldn't take actions towards this. Because the witch is wanting you for themselves. And then the queen of cups here is a first. They also could be feeling as though... Um, that either you belong to someone, your heart belongs to someone, or that, if it's not that, that maybe you are emotionally unavailable, or that you're unavailable, okay? There's a little bit of a manipulative energy, seven of swords right next to the queen of cups and one first. Maybe they could be feeling like, okay, if I can manipulate Virgo Taurus in Capricorn's heart, to feel something for me or to want me more or to want to do this with me or just want to be with me without any noises, without any other people, external factors. All right, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs, it's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time I post your videos and every time I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. See you soon. Take care. Bye.